What's going on everybody, I'm YouTube's ProPJ and welcome back to Back to the Future, the game. Now the game has gone back uh, a little bit, so my apologies for that. Okay, so, according, according to the hints, it says there is something I need to get off of Kid Tannen. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. Let's see what I can do. About that Carl Sagan. About that Carl Sagan guy. I'm sure he wasn't the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Touching a sensitive. Um. I don't know how to do it though. How's that? Yeah. How do I do? The hint just said he's like in the movies. He falls for the hey, what's that? Kind of thing, but I don't know how to do that. I wonder who really burned it. Um. Hmm. Um. Matches. Can I speak to matches? No. No screw ups. No. Well. My Yeah, you're a. Okay. How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? That I have no idea. Uh, Emmett, can you help me out a little? Um, what do you know about Kid Tannen? Kid Tannen. He's loud, he's obnoxious, he's not very bright, and he doesn't like anybody getting in his way. Fair enough. Yep. Okay. Einie? Hey, how you doing, Einie? Einie? It's short for Einstein. Yeah. Einstein, of course, because he was a patent officer just like you. Okay, um, am I meant to be speaking to Strickland? Who am I meant to be speaking Looks to? Pretty sturdy. Hey, I'm Edna. Sure. I'm afraid I. Uh, sorry about Einstein. So, well, I hope. Yeah. I... Very good. Now let's see if you know your multiplication tables. You okay. Somebody... Is there a charity that does need soup? I think I've tried uh, all of them. Insane asylum. No. No. Alright. Because the hints in here says Edna picked up some booze and is ready to deliver it. Tell Edna that the service sobriety society needs a soup delivery. But I tried I tried the service society. Okay. The Sober Society. Stay sober society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. There you go. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett, volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Yep. Uh, oh, wait there! Uh, don't say it, Emmett. Michael! What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch, but we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your exactly. door. Exactly. No, out of the question. Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house. What do we know about these people? They're friendly. They're sober. They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. Okay. Um, they'll be, be quiet. quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes. I play my tambourine very softly. Oh, God. Oh, yes. no. But, but what? But it's still impossible. But think of the society. society. What will happen to them? They can all fall off the wagon for all I care. Ouch. I promised her. I promised Miss Strickland. It means so much to her. The answer is still no. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No. I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Yep. Wait. There we go. 
You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are Emmett Brown. Yep. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Ooh. Edna are they gonna fall in love or something? How to thank you for your generosity. Oh, um, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. All right, all right, all right. There you go, I'm Emmett. Got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, so do you I, but. Too much, eh. Now all we gotta do is serve that subpoena, and we're off to build your rocket drill. Hell yeah. Get my patent. Yeah, your uh, patent. All right. Sorry, and then picked up the booze. I've already done that. Okay, can we go? Why a rocket drill? Was down at the patent officer wondering what made you think of a rocket power drill. Oh, yeah. That'd be journey to the center of the earth by you. Ah. It was a revelation. Yeah, that's kind of what we figured. Okay. We'll so do I still have to deal with uh, Kid Tannen? Is that what it's now waiting for me to do? Station is at door. You gonna buy anything? Um, no. No. Then get out, Bob. Ouch. Tell Marshall. Will. Alright, can I now well. distract him? Come on. Hmm. About our. Yeah. Yeah. I've already asked him that. Your test. Can I buy it off you? Could you keep your mind? Never mind. Never. How come you won't let the Stay Sober Society hold their meeting in the cellar of your soup kitchen? We got other plans for that cellar. Ah, uh, I need to figure out how to do this. Ah, yeah, yeah. What if I go around the other way? Um, if I go running around this way... There we go. Barbershop. Spread the word to everyone. No one burns down Kid Tannen's property. Everyone it is, boss. Well? No, I'm good. Mistake. Oh no, it made me glitch to the other side. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh yeah, yeah. can I get duck onto this? Like older duck? I need help here. It's a bit weird, like the directions that you move in on the keyboard. They shift when the camera shifts perspective, so like up is not up. It's like left or right for going up. Doc. It's weird. Uh, kid Tannen. What's the story with this Kid Tannen jerk anyway? Biff's father? By this time next year, he'll be pulling down a life sentence in San Quentin. There was even a song about it. Wait, if Biff will be born in 1938... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a bit... No, okay. Uh... What are you doing in there? How'd you wind up in jail in 1931 anyway? During my trip to the past, I decided to look into one of Hill Valley's unsolved mysteries. The fire at the speakeasy. Exactly. I thought I was safely hidden okay. across the street. But when the fire started, there was a tremendous explosion, and I was knocked unconscious by a stray brick. When I woke up, I was here in jail, charged with arson. That's horrible. Good. I know. Worse yet, I still don't know who started the fire. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> I don't know what to do. Yeah, Edna's thing is done. I've done Edna's thing. Why is it still telling me to do Edna's fucking thing? I've done it. And the thing with Kid Tannen, it just says, uh, 
You know how Biff used to fall for the look over there. It just, it says the exact same thing for him. I can't do anything, seriously. Bet that hat. I sure could go for some lucky f Eh. Ah, oh, there we go. What the hell is that? Hey, kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? <laughs> nice. What you doing? Nice. Oh, oh God. Oh god. Give me that hat, you lousy crook. Damn it. Oh no. Toss it this way. Oh nice. Damn it. Nobody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen. Yeah, they do. Uh, it's it's a doo doo. They just kick him in the balls. <laughs> now, fix me up. Nicely done, guys. Nice. Where do you learn how to move like that? Yeah, what the yeah, hell? Football. They used to call me the streak. Get out. Nicely done, Emmett. <laughs> God damn. I'm allergic to the game. Alright. Alright, now can we go back to his place? Have you read the time machine yet? You read the time machine? HG Wells? Not yet, but it's on my list. Um. Hmm. About that subpoena. You deliver a lot of subpoenas? Father's always sending me out to do these dirty jobs. He wants to expose me to different kinds of people. All he's exposed me to is a lot of new curse words. Fun. We'll get that. All right, now what's it telling me to do? It's still talking about Edna, but like, I don't know. She rode off this way, didn't she? She rode off down here. So am I meant to go down here? Like, I don't know. No, I can't even, I can't. I don't know what to do. Now I've got the hat. Okay. Run past here. Majestic arms in. Shark. I have no idea what I'm meant to be doing. Can I go in here? I don't need to go in there anymore. Uh -huh. But why does it keep bringing this up? This is weird. This doesn't help me. Because she's already ridden off. So it's like, what, what am I meant to do? I'm confused. Am I meant to go back into the soup kitchen? I don't know. Okay. Pretty neat, Doc. Nope. I'm still not getting through here. Okay. At least those tables are propped up now. Um. Um. <clears throat> what is it, kid? Why? Um. Chooses his kids. Used to be a soup kitchen. What do you mean used to be? 
<clears throat> Despite recent changes in ownership, this joint is still available for the purposes of distributing food to the needy oh, and the yeah. not so well to do. Oh yeah. And no other purposes whatsoever. Right. Okay. What's a tough guy like Kid Tannen doing running a soup kitchen? Mr. Tannen purchased the soup kitchen from the Sisters of Mercy in an effort to repair okay. his reputation as a respectable community figure after his fine name was besmirched by the malignant and malicious malicious <laughs> the actions of the okay. United Vandals that 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 done burned down his place of business. It's speakeasy. I cannot confirm nor deny any claims of so-called illegal bootlegging at the 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 place. Just eat your damn soup, pipsqueak. Alright. Can I bang on this again? Alright. You still went where I still a can of flip. I think we learned that wasp hey, lesson. What do you think? Uh, wasp going? lesson. Last time. The kitchen's for management only, rummy. Good to know. Alright, what else can we do, Doc? Who's this? I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. But you can mess up Doc's. Yes? Nice. Oh, that's interesting. Just a little mechanical ingenuity. In the end, the door is open. Yeah, good job. Okay. Obviously, this kitchen isn't a speakeasy. Indeed. This must be some sort of front meant to cleverly and legally obfuscate the existence of a hidden establishment of ill repute. Perhaps in the basement. Right. right. That might explain the elevator. This score. I'll keep caught. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know. It's not helping me at all. It's not telling me anything. Oh, there we go. No. Inventory. Got a hat, subpoena, brown phone number, tape recorder, docs notebook, photo of George. Hmm. I have no idea. None whatsoever. Am I meant to be like, should I be going in, like walking into businesses trying to do stuff now? Like, I have no idea. I better not. Those lawyers sound kind of nasty. All right, well, let's try to bank. How can I help you, sir? <laughs> Without any money, I don't really have any business in there. Um, speak easy ruins. Just think, in 55 years, I'll be able to rent five-year-old movies on this spot. Hmm. That's kind of neato. In a way. Okay, I don't want to go back in there. What's in here? Hey, uh, can I get some moose? What does this look like? A hunting lodge? Okay. That's a no. Majestic I'm not so sure I want to stay in a place that welcomes transients. Okay. I don't know where else, man. I, 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 gee, Rick, I, I don't know where else to go. Einstein, you, you help me out here, bud. Oh, wait, can he... Sp oh. Dog. I just figured out what I could do. No, he's your dog. Uh, typical uh, neighborhood stray. Theorize, Einstein. Can you theorize for me? That's what I can do. I can get him to sniff uh, off his hat and try to hunt him down. Hey, honey. Come here for a sec, boy. Hey, there. Man, can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? There we go. Where We're on going? the trail. Only one way to find out. Nice. I forgot that we could do that. I completely forgot we could do that. 
Nice. Oh, the apartments. Huh. Deja vu. Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! Arthur? Hey, Arthur. Can you come down a minute? Do I know you? Uh... We got something We've for you. We got something for you. It's a sub uh, subscription to the Accountant Weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. Exactly. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. Okay. Sorry. Some other time. No, 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 no. God damn it. Come back out. Bloody McFlies. All right. Try it again. What now? Come on, dude. It's me again. Please come down. Why? We're family. I'm your grand... Uh, mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Yeah. Yep. Glad to know you, but I can't leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict God orders. God damn it. Sorry. Ah, uh, why are the McFly's all... Ah, uh, puny... In people in every single fucking version of the future past and present what now all right can i just show him the subpoena please it's me again why we are the law you represent the law you don't want to go against the law do you no but i don't want to go against kid tannin either and he ordered me to stay put till he gives the word okay sorry Ay, ay, ay. What if I show him the hat? Like, instead of talking to him, I show him the hat. Maybe that'll... What now? Show him that. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Inventory. There. I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. Alright, then show him the subpoena. Really? You're gonna make me bring it again? I don't need to push it again. Arthur's already there. Um. Alright. Someone's playing tricks. No, 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 no. For fuck's sake. Oh, god damn it. Fucking Arthur. Jesus Christ, Arthur. You don't make it fucking easy. What now? You know what? I'm just gonna tell him that there's a subpoena here. It's me again. What? I got some information That's for you. That's important information for you, but we can't yell it. It's private. Then put it in a postcard and send it. Sorry. Oh my God, you're so annoying. <sighs> yeah, at this point, I don't even want to. It's just. Break duck out in some other way. Fuck now. me dead. I don't care if his family. I don't want to help him. Don't want to help him anymore. What do you think you're doing? I'm throwing the subpoena. You yeah. can't do that. You have to hand it to him. No. Okay, what else? What else? What else? Uh. Uh. Photo of George? Uh, Arthur's already a little freaked out. I think showing him a picture of his yet-to-be-born son could turn him into a vegetable. Probably. Emma, I need help. Any help? Yeah. Um, never. It's me. Uh. No, there's ah, uh, there's nothing here that's gonna make him. Come down. Uh, 
Okay, maybe I need a hint. To get Alpha out, you need to go and get something from the town center. What? Why? Why do I need to go do that? Ah. I need to record, uh, Tannen saying something. Uh, this is not gonna be pretty. Well, well, look who's back! They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, uh get him, matches! Okay. Um, what's the plan here, Marty? I don't got a plan. Okay. Pull this out. Because he's going to say get down. He's going to say come down. There, you scrawny little runt. Get down here right now. Nice. Don't make me angry, <laughs> I don't think they're in a talkative mood right now. And face the music. Okay, um. I have no idea. You can't get Arnie. away that. Einstein. Help. Oh, nice. Lay off. Get away from that crazy mutt. Go. Go away, dog. We're busy here. Go on, scram. Nicely done, Einstein. Hey, where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot. Nice. Well, that was uh, pretty breezy. All right, now let's go. Nice job, honey. Nicely done. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Here we go. We'll choose this on there. Nah. Okay, well, never mind then. What now? Okay. Boom, boom. Nice. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! It's kid! Right away, boss! <laughs> Nice, uh, nicely done. Where's Kid? I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. Okay. Arthur McFly? Yeah? Got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena? Ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into Kid Tannen. Yep. Take it back. You can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest? But Kid'll kill me. Stupid, stupid Artie. Holy cats! What am I gonna do? You're good, I dude. I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Nice. I mean, we freaked him out, but nice. Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Nice. Ah, uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Yep. Come on. Nice, Emmett. 
I'm off to get the rocket drill. Yep. Good. <gasps> Come on, let's go. Time waits for no man. That's right. Ah, uh, hang in there, dude. I got gotcha. you. Oh God! Sure this is gonna work, Emmett. Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. Oh, well, that's and not scary. Hey, and that's not well, gonna simple. fucking end wrong with Captain getting into Kid Tannen's hand or something. The electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. All right. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction. Too many words. Cool. Oh, hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Okay. Any questions? Yeah, heaps. Could you repeat that in English? Uh... Hey, Matt? Oh, no. Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? So, oh, he doesn't God. know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You attend to the reaction. I'll try to get rid of him. Okay. To the, what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late. The reaction's already started. Okay. Don't worry. I'll try to help you out where I can. But. Uh, coming, father. Oh, God. Father. Don't you father me, child. Okay, so pump this. Oh crap. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me. Maybe I can just get struck by the light. Okay, okay. Does that make you happy? Uh pour that. Oh crap. What did you do? I don't know what I'm doing. No one, father. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Okay. Fuck me dead. Just pay attention to what I say. Okay. Okay, so I need to listen to him. You know who invented fire, Pop? Fire? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Yep. Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? Spark? Uh. Uh. I don't know what spark. Oh, there, there, there. The electronic crank. Okay. There is a flame inside me that flame? can be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, father. Okay. Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Oh, God. Get back here. Oops. You're going to find out. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? I hope someday you have children. Uh, yep, release valve. I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes. Spark. You're going to find Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas. I hope someday. Bags of gas? Oh, maybe your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. I don't know. I don't know. I can't keep up. I'm not just another burning. one of staffers who spins around you like a top. You're going to find out that when you get older... Spins. Okay. Ah, uh, halfway there. Thank Christ. Amen. Keep going. Keep up the good work. I'm bloody trying. It's hard to keep up. Stop being such a crank. This isn't food for thought, Pop. Crank food. I have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. Uh, food. 
pressure. Under the collar, Pop. Your mother and I are shocked at your behavior. Oh God, hot. Shocked. I strongly object to the current of this conversation. Shocked. Pressure. You don't know anything about pressure. Shocked. Current. Uh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Whoops. I thought you were a scientist. I'm bloody trying. Do I get a turn to talk, or is this going turn. to be another monologue? Pressuring me to be something I'm not. Okay. If you don't like my performance at the courthouse, then fire me. Yep. Okay. If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be dividing the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. Bladders. What do you call room uh. full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start. Are you trying burning. to spin this argument around to my feelings? Yes, man. Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would okay, here we go. I'll be feeding you in that school of yours. Okay. Oh, sir. I bloody know, we're trying. Coming, father! Oh god. You know who invented fire pop? Okay, fine. But you can be damn sure it was. So I've only got to listen to Emmett. Why must you always scatter condescension my way? Scatter? Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Release. Burning passion, father, but it is not mine. Oh god. Really want to vent our dirty laundry in public vent, like this? Vent, 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 vent. Rotations. Do you ever listen to yourself? Rotations. Oh crap. Oh crap. Don't touch anything until I tell you to. I'm trying to follow. Eating you, father. Okay. But I wish you would go on a diet. Eating. There is a flame inside. Flame. You cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, father. Okay. What next? This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Okay. Pressuring me to be something yep. I'm not. Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. Yep. There, I said it. Oh God. No idea what kind of pressure I'm under. Okay. Why are you always bellowing at me? Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of law? Fuck. Fuck. I fucked it up. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. I'm trying. You have no idea how hard this is to keep up with. If you don't like my performance at the courthouse, then fire me. Okay. I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. Spin. Can't you see this is eating me yep. up inside? Well, if it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be dividing the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. I strongly object to the current of this conversation, Father. Current? Oh no, I minimized. I minimized my game. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh god, what happened? Don't you have a release valve? Fuck. What did you do? I'm trying. It's so hard. Emma. Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? Okay. Okay. What use is a microorganism for law? I really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this. What do you call room? I have no idea what you want. I have no idea what you want. Pay attention to what I say. I'm trying. It's so hard to keep up. I'm stressed, man. Stop being such a crank. Crank. Why don't you go feed the ducks, father? Okay. Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Okay. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to okay. be Okay. Here we go. Stop getting so hot under the collar. Hot. 
Alright. Rotations? Rotations? Hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. Name one great thing ever generated by a lawyer. You don't get to control the generator just because you fed and clothed me for crap. This is so hard. I thought you were a scientist. So did I. But I'm not. Holy shit, this is hard. I get a turn to talk, or is this going to be another monologue? Okay. Breathe, breathe, breathe. trapped in a burning building. A good start. Okay. I strongly object to the current of this conversation, Father. I minimized it again. I'm such an idiot. What am I doing? Current, current, current. He said current. He said fucking current. Don't touch anything until I tell you to. I'm trying. This is so hard to keep up with. Oh, maybe your burning passion, Father, but it is okay. not mine. I name one great thing ever generated by a lawyer. I don't know what that. Don't like my is it the crank? Fire me. Fire me. I have to prove myself to you before I can shake your overbearing criticisms. Shake. The hotter you get, the more shake. I know I'm right. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone okay. wants to be a lawyer. Uh, I can't keep up with all of them. He needs to go slower. I seriously, I can't keep up with all of them. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. I'm trying, but you have no idea how fast you're speaking, sir. Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas. Yep. I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around. Spin. Why should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria. Okay. There is a flame inside flame. me. I cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, father. You don't get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. Okay. Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? Nice. How many times do I have to prove myself to you before I can shake your overbearing criticism? Shake. Do I get a turn to talk, or is this going to be another turn. monologue? Turn. Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. Turn. There. I... Mm. I clicked on the wrong one that time. I had it. I had it. I oh, swear. I swear to God, I had it that time. I just clicked on the wrong one. Why don't you go feed the ducks, father? <sighs> This is so stressful. You have no idea. You have no idea how stressful this is. You know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Law? What use is a microorganism for law? Maybe I can. Okay, microorganism bacteria. Would that make you happy? Lightning. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Eating. My Galileo's rotations. Rotate. You yourself? Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? Release. Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Lightning. Would that make you happy? Wait, did she bite? You really want to vent our dirty vent. laundry in public like this? I don't know what that one is. Is it that? I don't know. Oh no, Ben. Uh, Just pay attention to what I say. I'm trying. You have no idea how hard this is. Stop getting so hot under the collar, Pop. This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. Okay. Okay. If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be divining the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. Sheep, I do. I okay. Galileo's rotations. Do you ever listen to yourself? Why are you always bellowing at me? Bell. Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? Uh, Emmett, you're making it too complicated, for fuck's sake. I thought you were a scientist. Emmett. Yeah, you're talking in fucking code. Do you know how hard this is? Why won't 
Won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Okay. Why must you always scatter a condescension my way? Scatter? Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. Hot air. I said it. Wait. This may come as a shock, shock. to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Why should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria. bacteria. I, you are going to learn, boy. Stop getting so hot under the okay. collar, Pop. Name one great thing ever generated by a lawyer. I don't know what's eating uh, you, Father. Generated. Father, you would go on a diet. Generator? Your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. Burning. Oh, we're gonna be doing this for like another hour. Telltale, seriously. I love you, but fuck me dead. I don't know what vent is. Is it this? Okay. The current? That was right. Listen to the words I I'm bloody it. doing that. Piss off, Emmett. Okay, microorganism. microorganism. We call room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building. Burning. A good start. Do I get a turn to turn. talk, or is this going to be another monologue? Well, if it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be divining the future. We need bladders and goat gizzards. I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. Spin? Why won't you release me from your unattainable release. expectations? You know who invented fire? Pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas. Bags of gas? It's not being such a crank. Crank? There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legal flame. gobbledygook father. I have no idea what kind of pressure. Pressure. Oh, thank uh, Christ. I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil over. Thank what? Christ. This isn't over, young man. Whew. That took me so fucking long. Holy okay, shit. You and your dad sounded. It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We. No. Uh. Oh, what? I did a bad. Oh god. Nice. Eureka. Now all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill and you and, and I can I can take it and go. Yep. But don't you wanna test it first? No time. The uh, the, the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. All right, you've got to get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. Yep. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Michael, when can I expect to hear back from the Patent Office? A month to six weeks. Oh, in about, I'd say... I, I can't. Yeah, I don't uh, want to lie to him. Emmett, I I'm not from the Patent Office. I don't understand. I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's somebody who's in big trouble. Someone very important to me, to, to both of us. I, I can't tell you who, but I need to save him tonight. And, and I need your invention to do it. Yep. Uh, I feel like an arsehole now. I just crushed his fucking dream. I'll get it back to you, I promise. And, Emmett... You're gonna be a great inventor. Yeah, you are. Oh, I feel so bad. Wait! Keep the throttle at about eight. Oh, Good man. What a good man. All right, let's get him out okay, of there. Okay, Doc, I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. Oh, he's not there. 
He didn't answer. Alright. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Crap. Mr. Corleone! That is me. You're too late! Too late? The doc's not supposed to be. What's up? Doc! They're moving him to another facility for safekeeping! Oh! I better go get a quote from the police chief. Crap. Paddy wagon intercepted. Suspect slain. Oh, We're still after crap. Him. How am I gonna rescue him now? Bike. There's no way Edna's bike is gonna be fast enough to catch up at that paddy wagon. Or is there? Grab the rockets. Hmm. At least the rocket part came out of this in one piece. Rocket on Edna's bike. Only way. Sorry, Edna. Fuck, this would be so dangerous, but so much fun. Alright, I'm coming, Doc. Here we go. I'm coming. Good God. Oh, no, <laughs> he looks so nervous. I got you, dude. I ain't gonna let you down. Hope boy. All right. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're still in danger, Doc. We gotta get you out of here. Come on, stop. I said you're still in danger. Never mind. Never mind. Get me out of here. I will talk later. All right. Uh. Come on. Um, what do I got? Beat it. I don't think so. They won't budge. Uh, help me, help me, help me. You need to get the keys on the dashboard. What can you do to snag them? Right, go right. Rear window. I got gotcha. you. I'll be back. Always right here. Okay. Front window. Oh, that's not good. What's he doing here? Grab the keys. Come on. Keys. The window shut tight. Hmm. Can I smash it? Maybe not. Okay. Um. Kids in the truck. Kid Dan is driving the truck. Kid Dan. That explains a lot. Okay. I'll be back. All right, we need to go to the left and hit him. <laughs> okay. Come on. Rear window. God damn it. I gotta have a way to break it. Gotta be a way to break it. Oh, there's a tool thing down there. I'll be back. There's a tool kit. Alright. Rear window. Let's use the tire iron. Why on earth would I want to whack that with a tire iron? Uh, come on. Keys. 
Or maybe I can try whacking the back door with the tire iron. Okay. Whack it. They won't budge. Alright, then we'll move the fucking other tire with the tire iron. Alright. Okay. Found the case, but I can't reach him. Okay. I'll be back. Can I just hit him with the hubcap, please? I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. I need an extender. How the fuck am I gonna do that? How am I gonna do that? What can I do? The road antenna. Ooh, that's a smart idea. Not such a bad idea. Go back. Go right. Grab the antenna. That's what I need. Alright, go back, go back. Okay. We got this. We got this. Get the keys. Use the antenna, but be careful. You need to get those keys while kids focused on the road. Ah, I still have to set up a distraction. Okay. I need a distraction. I need a distraction. Leave it to me. Hey, driver. No driving too fast. Watch how you take those cars. Okay. What are you trying to do? Kill me? I object to your tone of voice. I find this seat distinctly uncomfortable. You have a pillow I can sit on. Hey, I'm talking to you, driver. Don't ignore me. You. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Thanks, Doc. I guess that's why they call you the street. <laughs> how did you know that? I have my sources. Yep. Alright, go, go. Now the nose. We're uh, running on fumes here. Get the keys, get the keys, and boom. Stand back, Doc. Oh, God. Okay. How many bullets has he got in that thing? He led, Sagan. How you doing, Doc? Hey, you in there. Okay, what do I... Oh, inventory. Use this as a shield. Hmm. Where are you? Bye bye. Son of a bitch. Grab the gun. All right. Now I can shoot shackle. Here we go. Yep. Well, that's the idea. Uh. Doc! Oh. Uh. Hit the throttle. Doc! The throttle! Oh! Nice. Okay, Doc.
Ah, uh, the manure jokes. Ah, oh, it's great. More like E.T. Look at us. Nice, and we're back at the car as well. Awesome. Doc, are you okay? I'm fine. But I wonder what sorts of bizarre repercussions my younger self's invention of a flying bicycle will have on the timeline. Mm. Did you know that would happen? <clears throat> I had a suspicion. I never could keep those rockets from exploding. So, what do we do now? Go back. Now we get back to 1986 before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where'd you leave Einstein? Uh oh. Whoops. Uh, Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? Oh, no. But I think we've got bigger problems right now. <sighs> oh, shit. Like Scott! Oh, that was cool. Yes! That was so cool. Holy crap. I love that. That was awesome. Oh, my God. In the next episode. What's happening? I don't know. Oh, that's so cool. Oh God. Hey, fellas. All right, McFly. Okay. Let's go see the boss. History says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. I feel uh -oh. that nothing will save Hill Valley from descending into the fires of chaos and corruption. Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. Jesus. Ah, that's so cool. This was 2010. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Ah, that's so cool. Alright, I'm obviously going to leave this episode of Back to the Future here. We're going to move on to part two, or episode two, uh, hopefully very, very soon. Uh, I might give it just a little bit, like a day or two, a couple of days break, um, just so that you're not getting, you know, too over-saturated with Back to the Future content, but I'm loving this so far. I'm so glad we came back and, and gave this another chance. I'm really digging this. Uh, so thank you guys for your enthusiasm about this series as well. That's really helped me out and kind of kept me going, yeah, we're doing the right thing by checking this out. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed episode one of Back to the Future. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to my social medias in the description box. And as always, there's a link to popyjn.com down below. PopyJane.com is your one-stop shop for everything Popey Jane related, merchandise, upcoming live events, uh, the premium content service, everything is over there. Make sure you go check it out, PopyJane.com. Uh, leave comments below as well. Let me know what you guys think of this so far and whether you want to see more of it. But thank you guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And until next time, I'm YouTube's Popey Peace out. Wow. Let's live.